Although street art or graffiti started in Egypt even before the revolution, it really wasn't until the start of the revolution when it boomed. According to Soraya Morayev, an Egyptian blogger who has been documented graffiti since a short time after Mubarak's ousting, graffiti during the start of the revolution was a necessity. Since the government took away the internet and mobile phone services, people needed a way to disseminate messages. At the time, the graffiti was limited to simply writings on the walls with a spray can and limited stencils against the regime and calling on Mubarak to leave. Later, some artists started creating new street art that was carrying diverse messages and were perhaps aesthetically more pleasing. As the political situation developed in Egypt, with many turning against the Supreme Council's of Armed Forces in charge of ruling the country in the transitional period, the graffiti developed as well. More and more graffiti was appearing, instigating protest. On the walls built around the Ministry of Interior, in an act of creative protest to their existence, a group of artists got together and created the No Walls Project, where each artist painted open streets right on the wall. Other as a political message dissemination tool, a proof of protest or a weapon for peaceful resistance, street art has been a part of Egyptian infrastructure reality. <laughs>